Here we have a rainwater tank that's designed to catch the runoff uh, from the shed's roof. Uh, it's a 5,000 litre tank and I need to be able to measure the water level in the tank periodically and uh, that's what I'm going to talk about today. Um, I've done a couple of videos on how to measure the water level in one of these tanks uh, but th today I'm going to use a very simple but very accurate method um, and if you want to see the other methods, just keep watching and uh, I'll give you links to those other videos. Now just to show you the setup here, uh, this, this tank is quite high up on the property. So all I'm doing is gravity feeding the water from, from these hose pipes coming off the outlets. Now the very simplest way to measure a water level on a tank is just to use a hose pipe and I'll show you how to do that now. So first of all obviously you've got to switch it on. I'm going to use this yellow hose pipe. Switch it on and I just get the end of the hose pipe like that. You just keep it vertical. You run it down until you see water coming out the end and that'll give you the level of the, the water level. So I'll go down quite far. There it's coming out now. And now just to show you close up, there you can see the water coming up and there it goes over. So we know exactly there is the level of the water inside the tank where the top of that hose pipe is now because it's just starting to overflow. And then once we've established the height, what I normally do is mark the level with a whiteboard marker which I can rub off. It's just a temporary mark and then I'll put the date like that. Now since this mark was made I know that I've had about 20 millimeters of rain from there to there and just measuring the distance between those two it's about 26 centimeters. So I, I know that 20 millimeters will raise the water level by 26 centimeters. Now the full height of the tank is 185 centimeters so if I divide 26 centimeters into 185 I get a figure of 7.1 so I know that that is a 7.1 of the tank so if I then times 20 millimeters that amount of rain there by 7.1 that should give me a full tank and uh, it turns out that it's 142 millimeters. So now I know I need 142 millimeters to fill my tank right from the bottom to the top. So all those kind of calculations help you uh, knowing how much water you've got in reserve and then when you use the water you can calculate how much time you run it for and how quickly the tank goes down. So all those things you can calculate by using this method to measure the level of your tank. So we'll go inside now and I'll do the calculation theoretically and we'll see how close it is to the practical way of working it out. Right, so this is the theoretical model of uh, the tank volume versus rainwater in millimeters, how to work it out. Uh, now bear in mind that this is highly theoretical and in practice it doesn't always work out exactly. So, so we start with the tank. It's a 5,000 litre tank. It's divided into six rungs, which you can see on the outside of the tank. So if we divide 5,000 by six, we get about 830 litres per rung. And the tank total height is 1.85 metres. So each rung is about 28 centimeters. Now what I want to work out is how much water is going to run off the roof into the tank for each millimeter of rain that we get. So to do that uh, first we have to know the floor area of the tank. It doesn't matter about the pitch of the roof and all that sort of thing because in theory uh, you're only going to get that amount of rain 
that's equivalent to the floor area, plus a little bit for the gutters on each side, but we'll take that out of the equation. So the, the shed dimensions are 5 meters by 7 meters, which gives us 35 square meters. Now, when rain falls on an, on an area like that, it doesn't matter the shape of the area um, or the dimensions, it's always one millimeter of rain is going to raise the water in that area by one millimeter. So that's how rainfall is measured. Now we want to capture that and put it in the tank. So we've got to know how much a liter of water is going to take in terms of millimeters of rain falling. So a liter, as we all know, is 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. That's a cubic measurement, which is equivalent to a liter. If we, so if we take one square meter of the floor uh, and see how many liters we can pack into that. So one square meter is a thousand millimeters by a thousand millimeters. And if you take the dimension of our little cube here, that's a hundred millimeters. So a hundred into a thousand goes 10. So we could stack 10 liters that way and 10 liters that way in a square meter. That gives us a hundred liters in total. So we will need a hundred millimeters of rain to raise the water level on that square meter by a hundred millimeters. So that gives us a starting point. So for every hundred millimeters of rain on one square meter of area, we're going to get a hundred liters. So if we now extrapolate that and we say we've got 35 square meters, we times it by 100 liters and that gives us 3,500 liters uh, for 100 millimeters of rain. So if we take 3,500 and divide it by 5,000, that gives us 70% full tank. And then if we carry on with that calculation, so 100 millimetres is equivalent of 3,500 litres, which is 70% full. So, so I've calculated with this formula here, 100 times 100 divided by 70 will give you 142 millimetres uh, to get 5,000 litres and give your tank 100% full. And if we divide the 142 millimetres by 6, which is the number of rungs on the tank, uh, it's going to take about 24 millimeters of rain to raise the tank by one rung. And uh, then if we say 5,000 liters divided by 6, that means each rung is 130, which is what we discussed right in the beginning. So those are ways you can work it out theoretically, uh, but there will be variations depending on the wind, if the wind's blowing in a certain direction, you'll get more rain on the windward side of your pitch of your roof and less rain on the leeward side. And things like that can affect it in practice. But roughly that will give you a pretty good idea of how much rain you're going to need to fill your tank. So it turns out, therefore, that the 142 millimeter capacity of the tank that we calculated practically up at the tank there is more or less the same as our theoretical calculation, which is great. I didn't expect it to be that close, but uh, obviously the empirical method that we used to measure the level of the tank there uh, was pretty accurate. Now, if you found this useful, please like and share this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And if you have any comments or questions, we'd love to hear from you. Just scroll right down to the bottom and you'll find the comment section there. Thank you very much for watching.